because if you don't know grammar so we can't frame sentences and without framing sentences we can't speak and without vocabulary how can we frame sentence you know vocabulary are words and words make a sentence right like there are many later later make a word word make sentence and sentence uh, we communicate to each other you know good afternoon to hina how are you good afternoon ma'am i am good thanks for asking what about you i am pretty well thank you okay so we are meeting first time so first of all please introduce yourself okay so first of all a very good afternoon and thanks for giving me this pretty opportunity to take this call with you so this is tuhina i am 12 years old i study in dev public school in 7th standard that is situated in sai baba up i am the single child of my parents my mother is a homemaker and my father works in a private company real estate i belong to west bengal but i am growing up here in up and uh, apart from my studies my hobby is dancing and painting i have been learning kathak which is a classical form of this dance for last 5 years and if i honestly tell you i am knowing three languages that are bengali hindi and english that's all from my side wow amazing <laughs> i am glad to hear about you and i am really feeling very happy because you are a kid and i love kids very much okay so now it's my turn i would like to tell about myself yeah so as you know that i am anjana and i am speaking to you from up district farukhabad and if i talk about my qualification so i have done post graduation in english literature from kanpur university and if i talk about my hobby so i love teaching listening music apart from that i run a youtube channel that's it oh it's a wonderful introduction thank you okay so tuhina first of all tell me that i love your name very much because your name is very unique you know first time i have heard this name <laughs> so what is the meaning of your name yeah my name meaning is snowfall wow cool cool <laughs> cold and fresh that's lovely yeah okay so in which standard you are studying i am studying in 7th standard that's good and uh, what's your native language my native language is bengali okay that's why you know three languages like bengali english and hindi yeah that's good but i don't know bengali <laughs> i know only hindi and english <laughs> okay so who motivated you to learn this english language yeah if i tell you that who motivated so my mother motivated me uh, to start this language english because she wanted to become a fluent english speaker but the, but in her olden days she couldn't be so when i was in class 3 so she uh, learned all the chapters of modals tenses conditionals thoroughly and then made herself uh, better in this language she is able to speak in english with me and with my dad and she speaks me uh, every day when i am starting my day she tells me that you will have to speak in english whether i am speaking or your dad is speaking or not you will have to speak in english so she has started her uh, this journey with me only that's very good i am proud of your mother actually you know nowadays uh, english is must for every kid because in future if your english is good so you can get uh, good opportunities good jobs you know so in future english should be really um, essential for every kids that's why it's very important subject and as a language it's very important so like uh, your mother is teaching you that's why you are very comfortable to speak in english so in your class all students are able to speak or not if i come to my school so uh, my friends are not able to speak a single word in english yes they are saying that where are you going uh, how are you this is a yeah. common english sentences common sentences but, yeah 
Yeah, but apart from that, what could be, should be, would be. So these type of sentences they can't frame anymore. And my school okay. is English medium, but uh, my school is English medium. Everyone says that English medium students should be fluent in this language, English. But no, it's not the fact. It's the myth that English medium students are not speaking English at all. Because I am the example of English medium student, so uh -huh. I have also struggled a lot before this language English. My mother also used to tell me a lot that that like every co-learners on YouTube are learning this language English because they have this a dream. So you yeah. will have also to struggle this. That's why I am studying in English medium school, but I try my level best to speak in English with my class teachers and with my friends. That's very good and commendable job you are doing. Like uh, you are a student and you are learning this, uh, this language now. So it would be really better for you because your future will be bright and splendid, you know. So that's good. And yes, I would like to say one thing that, you know, there are many parents and they always think that if I will send my children in English medium school, so they will be fluent in this language. Okay. But it doesn't happen. You know, the mothers who are very serious and very curious for their children to teach this language only their children are so fluent right i have noticed actually you know i am a teacher so i take tuition like students come at my home so who students mother who you know help their children very much so that students are very uh, smart in this language and whose parents are not caring uh, their children and not helping them so they are not in, good in this language even they are going in very famous school in my city like very famous and uh, english medium school cbsc board and icsc board but all the children are not able to speak so yeah i would like to say every watchers and viewers that if you really want to um, make your student fluent in this language so it's every mother's responsibility to teach uh, their kids, right? Yes, I That's also agree. Yeah. And uh, okay, Kohina, I have watched your many videos that you daily connect with a new co-learner and you practice a lot. So what do you think about it that you are improving or not? Yeah. I if I answer this question, so when I do any, uh, first of all, I do not do uh, these type of sessions every day because I have to study a lot. Yes, my exams are now over, but I have to play. I have to help my family members in their household chores. That's why I do with a break, with a gap in between, yeah. like three days That's after three days, I would do the uh, session. So okay. I improve a lot with these videos because I watch my video thrice or twice. That one I made mistakes. Now recently yeah. I'm talking to you. So uh, actually I can notice that I can make so many mistakes. I am talking to you. So after that, after watching my video, I can improve a lot. And my mother also tells me that you are knowing this language for many years. So why are you uh, not improving? But I am improving. I improve a lot yeah yeah gradually it comes in our mind you know we can't say that if we are speaking this language for a long time and we are not getting improvement we improve you know but it it uh, we are able to know after one month or two months you know if you are planting any plant and if you are daily uh, you know watering the plant and nursing the plant and you are daily uh, looking that plant is growing or not growing or not so how can we daily check that plant that is growing or not you know after one month or 15 days later we can realize that yeah there is improvement in this plant in the same way if we are learning this language so in four or five days we can't imagine that i'm improving or not it comes we can check ourselves after one month or two months that how was my Yes, uh, how was my speaking before two months and now where am I, right? You are right. Speaking comes by speaking and if we practice a lot, that, that thing will make us perfect in further also. Very true. Okay, Tuina, so if you want any question, if you want to ask any question to me, you can ask. 
Yeah, I want to ask you that how did you start your English journey? Yeah, so as you are a kid, so when I was a kid that time, English was my favorite subject and one, I wanted to speak in English that time. But you know, you can understand that that time my parents were not so much educated and I am the yeah, I am the eldest child of my family. So there was no one for guiding me that you should practice like this, you should speak like this. Yeah, I wanted to speak, but that time I didn't have idea. So when I grown up and now I have kids, so I am learning this language for my kid. Actually, like your mother, I want to provide English environment to my kid. So, you know, only five months ago, I have started my journey. And yes, nowadays I'm practicing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it was wonderful. Okay, Tuhina. Yeah. So, okay, tell me that uh, what is your favorite thing? Okay. So, yes, it is an interesting question according to me because I have so many hobbies. Um, apart from dancing and painting, I love to play badminton, lawn tennis, basketball, and so much. I love to play cocoa also. Okay. And what's your dream? What do you want to be? Yeah. I, I dream that I want to be four things in my life. I want to be a teacher, a professor in a college, an IS officer, and a Kathak artist who performs on a stage. Oh, God. You have so multi <laughs> dreams. That's good. And I wish that you would get your dream. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, and at your home, uh, you have, I think, uh, three person, like you and your father and your mother? Yes, we are the family of three. Who is your favorite? Um, my, uh, if I tell you, my father is my favorite because my father uh, enjoys a lot with me. He makes me feel happy every time. He yes. makes delicious food for me. Uh, when, when my mother is not working, he makes me visit everywhere, where, uh, wherever I want to. So my father is favorite. That's good. And you know, same here, I have, all, we are three at my home, like I, my husband and my daughter. We are same, same. <laughs> Actually, uh, I had two daughters. Um, six months ago, I had two daughters. But, uh, you know, my second baby is no more now. So, I have one daughter only. She is my son. She is my daughter. She is my everything. <laughs> she is 11 years old. And she studies in sixth class. So, yeah. I'm oh, happy with my little family. <laughs> Oh, so sad to uh, hear because I haven't heard this type of issues, but so sorry. Okay, if I ask you my last question, that would be related to English only. That, like for English, what will you suggest to beginners? Is grammar very important or is vocabulary very important? Are both important or not? Yeah, both important, you know, grammar and vocabulary. But because uh, how can we skip grammar? Because if you don't know grammar, so we can't frame sentences. And without framing sentences, we can't speak. And without vocabulary, how can we frame sentence? You know, vocabulary are words. And words make a sentence, right? Like there are many later, later make a word. Word make sentence. And sentence, uh, we communicate to each other, you know. Yeah. So, okay, Tunda, in your class, like you uh, study grammar, I can understand you are in like seventh standard. There would be like passive voice and direct indirect. Do you know that how to solve all these things? Yeah, it, uh, it also comes in my exam. My teachers uh, make me understand very well. But um, in exams, I I am able to do one or two questions. But like my exams have just gone, so I find I find out that my one sentence was wrong. I thought that, and I was beating my head that why have I done this above wrong sentence? It happens so, sometimes. Happens. So you it don't happens. recheck your NB. You don't recheck your NB after completing your paper. You should recheck your NB. 
Yes, I recheck, but when uh, when I submit my paper and then when I receive it to check, so I see that I have made a mistake. So I okay. recover from that also. Okay. So can I ask any question related to passive wise? Can you make passive wise? Yes. Okay. So my first question is that um, my teacher taught English. My teacher taught English. Convert it into passive. Okay, so my teacher taught me English. So English was taught uh, by my teacher. English was taught me by my teacher. Yes. Okay, that's good. But you have used correct sentence because it was the sentence of past. Lovely. Okay, so my next question is: He eats banana. daily she eats banana daily okay banana is eaten by her daily very good that's good and i would like to give you chocolate but how can i give you <laughs> you are so far to me <laughs> you know okay so you are so far to me and if you would near to me so uh, yes i would really like to teach you actually i love a smart and sharp minded children because you know like if children are smart so we don't have to um, put much efforts you know like you are you are you have sharp mind so if i hint you anything you can understand very easily and if chil children are dull so you know uh, my mind is you know blur when i teach children like how to make them understand they are not getting you know it sometimes happen so dull children are very challenging for teacher but you are very smart and you are so fluent and yes i want to say to all mothers and kids that they should also learn english because english is must for their future so it was really wonderful conversation and i wish that you uh, may progress in your life day by day okay Okay thanks for the commitment and you will also become a very good and fluent english speaker Oh thank you thank you so now we can wrap up the session bye bye bye